Assalamu alaikum, ahlan wa sahlan, marhaban biakum ila qanati. Today, inshallah, we want to continue with our series on learn the Arabic language through the Quran. And today, inshallah, we shall begin another new chapter from the Quran, which is Surah Al-Falaq. Recall that in a previous episode, link placed above, we had completed Surah Al-Nas, which is the chapter 114 of the Quran. Now we are moving on to chapter 113 of the Quran, and that is Surah Al-Falaq. What is the meaning of Surah Al-Falaq? We said earlier that Surah simply means chapter. So here, Al-Falaq means what? The daybreak. So Surah Al-Falaq means the chapter of the daybreak. Now, as usual, we shall be breaking down each of the words of each of the verses in this surah, inshallah, and analyzing them grammatically. The first verse we have from this chapter is Kul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falaqa. Kul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falaqa. And we can see it is similar to the previous chapter because the previous chapter says Kul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Nas. Here we have Kul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falaq. The first word we can see from here is what? Kul. And cool means say this is fairly amr. That is a command tense. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding his prophet to say. So you can tell anyone, cool, say. If there are many, you say kulu. That is all of you should say. So cool means what? Say. Fairly amrin. Mabni yun ala sukun. This is the grammatical function. It is a command tense which is built upon sukun. And the subject in from this word, because this word is like a sentence, the subject from it, it is a latent subject, a hidden one, which is you, enter. So when I say to someone, cool, that person will understand that I mean you, say, just the way we say, kum. When somebody looks at you and say, kum, stand, it, he is talking to you, so you would understand that he means you, stand. So, cool, say. A'udhu, which is the next word. A'udhu means what? I seek refuge. I seek the protection. So, A'udhu, grammatically, is fairly modari, a present tense verb, marfurun, which is in the indicative case, bedumma, it carry in dumma. So, you can see it is carrying dumma, and it is a present tense verb. So, A'udhu, I seek what? A refuge. So, kul A'udhu, say, I seek a refuge. You seek refuge from what? Birobbi or in what? Birobbi. So Birobbi, as we said earlier, this is a two-in-one word. The first word here is B. And the second is Robbi. So B means with or in. I seek refuge with or I seek refuge in. So the B grammatically is called Harfujarin, which is a preposition that changes a noun coming after it to carrying Kesro and putting it in a genitive case. And the Robbi there is what? from Rabbun. So Rabbun means Lord. Why is it Rabbi? Because it is coming after B, which is a harmful jar. So Rabbi is what? Lord. And Rabbi is Ismun Majurur wa alamatu jarrihi al kasratu zahira. This is a genitive now because it is carrying kasra and we can see the kasra apparent. Kul a'udhu bi Rabbi. Say, I seek refuge in the Lord or I seek refuge with the Lord. Rabbil falako. The last one is al-falak. Al-falak here means the daybreak. So Rabbil falako, Lord of the daybreak. So al-falak grammatically is coming as the modafunile, as the possessor. We know what possessor means when I say kitabu Muhammadin, Muhammad's book. So al-falak, it means the daybreak Lord, the Lord of the daybreak. So the modafunile, he will always carry what? Kesro, mudafun ilayhi, majururun wa alamatu jarrihi, al kesratu zahira. It is the possessor carrying kesro, mashallah. Kul a'udhu bi rabbil falako. I seek, say, I seek refuge with the Lord of daybreak. Mashallah. Moving to the next verse. Min sharri ma khalaqo. The first word we can see here is min, which means from. Mean from, and this is also a harmful jar, a preposition just like the B. So, the mean when a noun appears after it, it changes the noun to the genitive case carrying kesro. So, mean 
is hard for jail, which means from. Shari means evil, from evil. So Shari is carrying Kisra because it is Ismun Majorur, that is a noun in the genitive case because it is coming after the harmful jail, after the mean. So me Shari from the evil. We say, Kul bil falako. Say, I seek refuge with the Lord of daybreak. From what? Me Shari from evil, from the evil. Me Shari them ma. Ma, which is the next word, is called Ismun Mausul. That is a relative pronoun. Relative pronoun be ma ana, which means a levy. It means here a levy. We know a levy. When you use it for a human, it means who. When you use it for a, a non human, you say what? Which. So here ma means what? A levy. Ismun Mausul. So ma means what? So me shall ma from the evil of what? Or from the evil of that which. Do you understand? From the evil of that which. Kholako. So the kholako here is fairly mild. It is a past tense verb which means he created. Kholako, he created. So kholako fairly mild. Mabniyun al al fatha. It is a fairly mild, a past tense verb which is built upon fatha because we can all see fatha on top of it. Kholako. Just like Kotala, he killed. So any verb coming in this pattern will mean he did. He did something. Kotala, he killed. Shakaro, he found. So here, Kholako, he created. Kul a'udhu bi rabbil falako min sharri ma kholako from the evil of that which he created or from the evil of what he created. This is very simple. I hope so. Now moving on to the next verse. Wamin shari go seeking ida wakabe. We can see the first word here is wamin, and this is a twin one word. The first one is wa, and the wa here is hard for often. This is a conjunction particle used to join two parts of a sentence or two sentences together. So when you can say kalamun wa kitabun, a pen and a book. So wa is hard for often, mabniyun ala fatah, which is built upon fatha, and it is called it, it means and so what means what and mean we already know mean from so what mean we are saying and we are also seeking and from what mean and from shari we already know this evil what means shari and from the evil god seeking so god seeking means what the darkness what means shari god seeking the darkness from the evil of the darkness. So God seeking here is coming as the mother of as the possessor. Min shari God seeking from the evil of the darkness, from the darkness evil. Or min shari God seeking from the darkness evil of evil, or from the evil of darkness either. Either is called Zolfo Zaman, Abni Yun Alasukun. Either means what? When? Either when? We can say that's why we see in the Quran. Either ja anasrullah wal fatah. When the when the help of Allah and the victory comes. Either ja akalmuna fikuna. When the hypocrites come to you. Can we see either when? Either when? Either kadima when he returns. So here we have either wakabe. So wakabe means. Um, when it becomes widespread. So, wakabe is a fairly mildly, mabni yunal al This is also a past tense verb. So, when we say, wamin shari ga sekin idha wakabe, and from the evil of the ga sekin, of the darkness, when it became standstill, when it became widespread, meaning during the time of the night, when everywhere has become so dark. MashaAllah. Now moving on to the next verse. So wamin, we already know this wamin and from. Shari, we also know evil. And we know the grammatical function of these three words. We know. If you don't know, go back to the previous verse. Wamin shari and from the evil. Anafathati. Anafathati simply means witches who blow from anafath. Anafathat means witches who who blow, which is who blow uh, into something. So when we say, Wami Shari Nafathati, and from the evil of those witches who blow. So Anafathati here is coming as the Modafun Ilay, that means um, the possessor. Wami Shari Nafathati, and from the evil of the witches who blow. Fi, Fi means what? In. And this is also a helpful jar, a preposition which puts the noun coming after it into the genitive case carrying Kesro. That's why we say, Fi. Masjidi 
in the mosque fil masjid so we, here we have fil uqadi so fi is hard for jarin mabniya ala sukun why al uqadi means what the knot this is like an instrument a string that the um the witches they blow into when they try to perform their magic and their witchcraft may allah protect us from them so fil uqadi al uqadi means the knot al uqadi here is coming as the ismun majorud the genitive now because it is appearing after fi umin sharin nafasati fil uqadi and from the evil of the witches who blow into the knot moving to the last verse we know and from the evil again hasidin hasidin means an envier someone who envies you doesn't want any good for you an envier so hasidin is also coming as the mother for the major the possessor hasidin then either we already know either means when and this is all for the man either hasada hasada is what this is a past tense verb which is also built upon fatha hasada when he envied so women shall hasidin either hasada and from the evil of an area when he envied mashallah let's take the so this chapter again kul a'udhu bi rabbil falaqa see i seek refuge with the lord of the break min sharri ma khalaqa from the evil of what he has created wa min sharri ghasikin idha waqab and from the evil of the darkness when it became widespread wa min sharri nafathati fil uqadi and from the evil of the witches who blow into the knot wa min sharri hasidin idha hasade and from the evil of an envier when he envies we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us understanding. Do make sure you like, share with your friends so they participate with us in this knowledge based series and drop your comments at the comment section as this will serve as an encouragement for us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us a meeting together in Al Jannah of Firdaus. Until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.